morning everybody this is Beach Baby Bob I have a very 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 famous story for you today it's a novel too that means that it's written in chunks or chapters and I'm gonna read the whole story to you and it's called The Spelling Bee The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and it's written by the famous American author Mark Twain and this is what it looks like The Spelling Bee This is the table of contents page where it shows the names of the chapters looks like there's four chapters Let's start with chapter one. The new girl. It was Monday morning, time for school. Tom Sawyer was running as fast as he could. He didn't want to be late. Tom ran past a big tree. A sign was on the tree. It said the circus was coming to town. Tom stopped running. How he wished he could go to the circus too bad he had spent all his money, all of his allowance that his parents gave him. While the bell was ringing, Tom made it to class just in time, and there was a seat next to Becky Thatcher, the new girl in town. Tom hurried to sit in that seat. Hello, Tom, Becky said. She smiled at him. Tom felt his face get very hot and red. Everyone said Becky was the prettiest girl in school. Uh, hello, Becky, said Tom. Then he buried his face in his lesson book. Mr. Masters was their teacher. I have a surprise, class, he said. We're having a spelling bee, the winner will get a ticket to the circus. <gasps> the class turned and looked at Edward. Edward was the smartest boy in school. He always won all the spelling bees. There's Mr. Masters. A free ticket to the circus. Wow. Tom looked at Becky. Now she was smiling at Edward, not Tom. Right then and there, Tom decided he would win the spelling bee, even if it meant studying his spelling words forever. I think he was jealous. Chapter 2, Tom and Becky. The spelling bee was later that afternoon. Tom studied during lunch. He studied any chance he could get. He studied during recess, too. He studied the spelling words until he knew them backward and forward. Tom had never studied so much in his life. At last it was time. The students stood next to their desks. Whoever spelled the word wrong had to sit down. They were eliminated. The last one standing would be the winner and win the ticket to the circus. Tom was so nervous. He couldn't keep still. Tom got his first word right. Whew. He got the next word right. Whew. He got the one after that right. Whew. Soon, Tom, Edward, the smartest boy in the class, and Becky, the new girl, were the only ones left standing. Then it was Edward's turn. To everyone's surprise, he did not spell his word right. Now, it was between Tom and Becky. Remember, the prettiest girl in the class, whatever that means. Who would be the winner? Here's Becky and Tom and Edward down here holding his head because he got it wrong. Chapter 3, The Winner. Mr. Masters put down the spelling list. We have used up all the words on the list, he said. We must use a new list. What, a new list, thought Tom. Oh no, I haven't studied those words. He took out, Mr. Masters did, another piece of paper. 
Oh no, thought Tom. I didn't study that list. It's your turn, Tom, said Mr. Masters. Spell the word circus. Tom gulped. He wanted to go to the circus, but he did not spell the word circus. Is it an S? Does it start with an S? Tom, said Mr. Masters. Tom gulped again. He looked out the window. He saw a clown walking by. The clown was carrying a sign, and of course the sign said, come and see the circus. There it is, thought Tom. That's the word I need to spell. C-I-R-C-U-S, circus. The clown had the sign right outside the window. What would Tom do? Tom looked around to make sure no one had seen the sign, and then he said, circus. C-I-R-C-U-S. That's correct, said Mr. Masters. Then it was Becky's turn. Her word was cheater. A cheater, you know, somebody who isn't honest. Hmm, cheater, said Becky. C-H-E-E-T-E-R. She said, I'm sorry, Becky, said Mr. Masters. That's not correct. Becky sat down. Tom was the only one still standing. He had won the contest. And Becky was very upset. Hmm, I wonder, was it cheating when Tom looked out the window? Hmm. The last chapter is called Doing the Right Thing. Mr. Masters handed Tom the ticket to the circus. Tom was going to the circus. All his friends shook his hand. They told him what a great job he had done. There's the ticket. It says right on it, circus, C-I-R-C-U-S. Becky came up to him. She looked very sad. I so wanted to go to the circus too, she said, but you deserve the prize. You're a great speller. You were good too, said Tom to Becky. She shook her head. I couldn't spell cheater. She said, I bet you can spell cheater. You're so smart. Remember, she spelled it C-H-E-E-T-E-R. And I think it's E-A. Tom gulped. He didn't feel smart. He felt awful. He might not know how to spell the word cheater, but he knew what what a cheater was. I'm a cheater, Becky, Tom burst out. I saw the word circus on the sign outside the window. That's how I won, he told her. That's being honest, telling the truth. Something I don't think our president of the United States, uh, Donald Trump, seems to do very much. I think he cheats a lot. Anyway, he's not honest. At least that's, the, that's what they say. Tom apologized and gave Becky the ticket. Tom was very sad. No circus for him. Plus, Becky would probably never smile at him again. Tom could not look at Becky when he gave the, the ticket. He was so embarrassed. Thank you, he heard her say. Now I have something for you. For me? Tom asked. Yes, said Becky. Then she gave Tom not only a great big smile, but a hug too. What's that for? Tom asked in surprise. That, Tom, she said, was for doing the right thing. The end. So it's not a very long book. It's got four chapters. It's called The Spelling Bee. It was written by the famous Mark Twain. It's about Tom Sawyer and Becky Thatcher, two very famous characters in most of Tom Sawyer books. Um, I'll try to get another one because I think that was really good, and I think you'll like it. By the way, this is Twyla May, my cat, of course, and she loved the story. 
She sat very quietly through the whole thing and listened to every word. And you know what? I think I heard her spell the word circus. C-I-R-C-U-S. Make sure you practice your spelling. Over and out a second time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so I can notify you when the next video comes out. You can hit the like button if you liked it and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Over and out.